Karen and Abner, San Medina has been a fixture in county and city government for nearly 20 years. First as a county judge, then as a city attorney. He left office in March, but the sexual assault investigation continues. Tonight, News Channel 11 has a new document that does not prove whether Medina is innocent or guilty, but it does shed light on when Angelina first made allegations about being sexually assaulted. Lubbock City Attorney Sam Medina asked to be placed on paid administrative leave in January because there were going to be some allegations against him. What quickly came to light were sexual assault allegations made against him by his soon-to-be ex-daughter-in-law, Angelina Medina. She has made some desperate and false accusations. These accusations are absolutely false. Standing by his side, Medina's wife, two sons, and his attorney. It has been said that hell hath no fury like a woman scorned, and these accusations are a perfect example of that. In this day and age, it seems like anybody can say anything about anybody, no matter how ridiculous they are. Okay, it's been said. Now is the time to put up or shut up. Three weeks later, KCBD obtained a police report filed by Angelina, classified by police as rape. In the report, she claims to have been assaulted by her father-in-law from February of 2009 to December of 2012. During that time period, Angelina, her husband Eric, and their children lived in a home with Sam Medina and his wife. Medina says the allegations are being made in the middle of a messy divorce between his son Eric and Angelina. Unfortunately, she has decided to turn this into a bitter, vicious custody battle. Angelina never reported the sexual assault allegations to police back in 2009, but according to a medical document provided to KCBD anonymously, she did confide in a medical professional in 2010 before the divorce was even filed. Angelina confirmed to KCBD the document was accurate and gave consent for it to be used in KCBD's investigation. She later gave KCBD a copy of what appears to be the same document, which she says was produced as part of the divorce court proceedings. The report shows that on October 9th of 2010, about a year after these sexual assault allegations allegedly began, Angelina was seen by an emergency room physician. She complained of chest pain and was reportedly very emotional and crying. The doctor determined she was having an anxiety attack. In this same report, it is recorded that she told the nurse she was having problems with her husband and her father-in-law and became overwhelmed. She said she lived with her father-in-law, who had been forcing intercourse with her for a year and a half. Despite these allegations, she did not want Adult Protective Services or the police notified. According to hospital staff, HIPAA and regular privacy regulations prevent medical officials from reporting allegations like these to police. When KCBD asked Angelina why she did not report this to police at the time, she said she was too scared to report it and declined to comment further. We contacted her attorney and he declined to comment saying he would rather this play out in court. KCBD contacted Medina's attorney, Ron Hobson, to get a comment about these medical documents. In a statement he gave us, he said, quote, The date on the medical record is 2010, which is interesting because she continued to voluntarily reside at the Medina house until December of 2012 when she was asked to leave. The events that have transpired over the next four years leading to these allegations becoming public read like a Hollywood drama. According to police records, in March of 2013, Eric Medina, Angelina's husband, was arrested on allegations of domestic assault on Angelina. A month after that, Eric filed for divorce. In January, Medina asked the Lubbock City Council to place him on paid administrative leave as the investigation into Angelina's sexual assault allegations began. The Lubbock Police Department turned this case over to Lubbock County District Attorney Matt Powell, who recused himself. On February 12th, special prosecutors from the 47th District Attorney's Office, located in Potter County, confirmed with KCBD they were assigned to this case. The following day, Lubbock City Council placed Medina on unpaid administrative leave per Medina's request. Also in February, an Andrews County judge assigned to Eric and Angelina's divorce case declared a mistrial because an expert witness called to the stand by Angelina's attorney mentioned the sexual assault allegations against Medina. Meanwhile, police told KCBD their investigation into Medina led to a separate investigation into his son Eric. Search warrants were executed at two of Medina's properties where Angelina and Eric had lived. The warrants issued by a Potter County judge were served Friday, February 21st. According to these search warrants, police were looking for prescription pill bottles prescribed by Eric Medina, drugs not obtained legally, prescription pads, and receipts from a Lubbock pharmacy. Eric Medina does not have a medical license. 
No arrests have been made and no charges have been filed after police served those search warrants. On March 7th, Sam Medina resigned as Lubbock City Attorney. In his resignation letter, he states, These distractions are unfair to you, to the citizens, and to my family. I do this of my own free will and with a grateful heart because of the privilege I have had in serving the wonderful citizens of my beloved Lubbock. In the statement I received from Hobson, Sam Medina's attorney, he said, quote, Sam Medina maintains his faith in the judicial system and knows he will be exonerated if this case ever goes to trial. We will have his full statement available for you online at KCBD.com. So far, no charges of sexual assault have been filed against Sam Medina and no criminal charges have been filed against his son, Eric Medina. The divorce proceedings for Eric and Angelina have not been finalized. A retrial is scheduled for July 21st. Karen and Abner.